Hey everyone, welcome back to our rune class. I took a big break in there. Um, part of it was to go have some fun with family and then also to work on some other classes that I'm developing. So tonight I'm going to talk about Thurry Sauce. Ta da! This is one of my favorite runes because it's not only a protection rune, it's also a rune of accountability. And if you're wanting to break a bad habit, you're wanting to change something about yourself, this would be a good rune to use. What you'll do is draw the rune and then the peak and put your name in here and the habit that you want to break. Then you see the rune projecting out in front of you, out into... My, I call it my back 40 because that's what I've got back there. But I send it out into the universe spinning, kind of like a boomerang, for it to go out and take the habit and fling it out into the universe and then bring back a clean shot at me, something that's clean that changes me in transformation. When you use Thurry Sauce, you're using it so that your actions speak louder than words, that your accountability, that your integrity is intact. That's what that is. If your integrity isn't great or you have been lying about something, it will hit you like a hammer and you'll get sick, you'll have these weird feelings, so make sure that you're really clear in your heart, you've done some cleansing work before you go and throw Thurry Sauce out there and you've put your, your intentions out there of the habit that you want to change. So it's also used in protection work and I use it a couple of ways. So a lot of people have seen this bind rune where it's three um, thurry sauce together and they're all kind of spinning in a clockwise motion so you see these um, the peaks all going around in this clockwise motion that's to send out a projection if you know that someone has sent negativity to you you can send it back from whence it came and basically prick the person with a thorn it's a rune of thorns. It's meant to go in and really dig into the skin of that individual and, and send whatever curse they've sent you back on them, and it sticks to them. They get stuck up in their own lies. They get stuck up in their own motivations, and it holds them accountable. A really great spell for that rune is to take a candle that's been dipped. It's a red and black candle. They've been dipped. They're... Um, Sometimes you can get them like this, where they're a seven-day candle or something along those lines. But a lot of times you can just get them as a, uh, I call them a, uh, I lost my mind about it for just a second. It'll come back to me. A taper candle. And it'll be, half of it will be red and half of it will be black. You can draw the individual's name, and you have to know that this is the person that is maybe gossiping about you or causing problems for you. You draw their name on there outward from the bottom to the top of the wick and you draw thurry sauce three times in that pattern and as it burns it begins to spin uh, sometimes on the top of the the uh, candle if you can you can draw three thurry sauce around the wick so as it burns it spins the the wax around and spins that energy out into the universe to make that person accountable for their baloney so that's a great form of protection. I also visualize around my property, Thurry saw standing and facing outward, all around it, like it's standing at attention. And it's a great uh, protective visualization. As I walk my property and I throw my salt and the other ingredients that I use to protect my property, and I want to visualize that my property is uh, invisible to evil people or crazy people, or annoying people that I don't want around. I'll see Thurry Sauce facing out like it's a prickly snare or I sometimes will think of hawthorn trees growing all around my property protecting me and protecting my people. So if you drive onto the property and you feel like you got stuck by something then it's possible that you uh, might have got it stuck on one of my Thurry Sauce. So that's a great way to use the rune. I love using it that way. I highly recommend the use of it. A lot of people don't like using it because it's misunderstood and they're afraid of elf shot, is what they call it, or being pricked by the fae because it's considered a fae rune. And um, 
they're a little nervous about using it because it opens a doorway to the other side for you to speak to other beings sometimes but it also sends out some great intentions I call it the North Star because a lot of people will throw Chinese stars for protection instead I throw runes for protection so that's a great one for that give it a try and let me know how it goes fill it in in the comments below until next time catch you later